There are not many years left now at 1944, so let's just continue with the war and try to defeat the Soviet Union, which is the last obstacle in the quest for world dominance so far. I mean, I guess that's, uh, you know, officially the United Kingdom is still standing, but honestly, at this point with France taken and basically all of India taken, all of Indonesia taken and everything like that, the existence of the United Kingdom is mere a nuisance more than anything else. So it's not that necessary to actually defeat them. But we will do our best in Africa nonetheless, of course. This army is finally cutting off the annoying Belgian forces here. But not here though, so still need to cut them off further. This province would cut off this division over here. But honestly, I think I will need to send up this guy to give some extra protection for my poor motorized units over here. Taking Mombasa was very important, but I think I should move on to Nairobi, which is where all of the British soldiers are moving towards. So I will do just that. This transport fleet has done its work over here. And here it's basically just mopping up what is left. So that is essentially what, uh, you know, to sum up my, how should you call it? East Africa campaign right here. It's all mopping up at this point. There will be some hard battles fought here in... I don't know what this territory is. What's the territory called here? Like the, the country that is considered nowadays. I can't remember. But yeah, we need to clean up this at some point. But I can't really commit too many you know, soldiers towards it. I might just send some more soldiers from here from, um, from the Indian campaign. That could be doable, honestly. And maybe worthwhile as well. I still need to take out Tibet, which, uh, you know, I'm, I really need to manage to do at some point. At least I have managed to uh, to take Dialek right here from what basically is an HQ. So that will be moving on quite well. And I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that the Germans will be managed to turn the tide here against the Soviets. Somehow, okay, this must be a partisan, something like that. That appeared here in uh, Semig uh, Semigalia, I think it is. Or Kurland. Hopefully they won't be causing too much trouble. There is some inefficient research on our schedule here. So let's remove those. Agriculture and supply production is not lo no longer needed. And honestly, I think I will personally oversee the assault and final fall of Nepal. With, because with Nepal fallen then I can commit those soldiers to uh, taking other areas, let's just say. Oh, and this is still British. What a shame. We need to wipe out the British here. No British territory will be left. And this motorized unit can move towards uh, Bombay to be heading towards uh, Tanzania, Kenya over here that will be all well and good and unfortunately I'm at a sort of uh, crossroads here because there's several uh, like basically I can move no south or I can move north if I move north I should be able to oh no and here's Lamu they could move here afterwards which means that would allow for it's only an HQ so I can remove the units over here I should be fine how are my AI commanders doing over here not too well. This army is... Those, these poor units have been completely encircled here by the Soviets. I'm hoping the Germans will gather some strength because they have a lot of units to help them out in the long run. They have taken Crimea, they've taken basically all of Ukraine. They can do it. And uh, they're still holding on to, to Leningrad. The question is just how long they will be managing to do that. I have some units available for deployment, including one light armor brigade, that or division or whatever, that I managed to make, and uh, two infantry. All of these will be committed to uh, the Soviet front. I'm actually thinking of just making... Th these doesn't fit together, but I'm thinking of just making them into... Making them into one one single core that will have to do it. So these guys can be transported over for now, and then they can pick the rest up 
So transport over and get the remaining guy afterwards. There's already one leave, uh, being waiting here, hoping to be assigned to something important. Hopefully he will be just that. And now I have the 13th Hendan, which I now will assign to um, the North China army. And thus be under the command of, of the Queen Quantum. The Quantum, yes, exactly. Education and all of this is also highly advanced. Perfect. I don't think there's anything in 1945 specific. I think the next one is 1946, when things are starting to appear. Inefficient research, again, radar training. Good, remove that. And now this can also be transported over here. I mean, I'm, I'm sending more and more units to, to deal with the, the silly, silly Soviets. All right. I think that now I should be able to launch an, an invasion here of, of Kathmandu and hopefully manage to win at some point. That would be great. And I think I can make him go here and then uh, divert him to the African campaign. How's the uh, Yemen campaign going? With basically only the marines here doing all the hard work. Because the most imp important part of s squashing British influence in this region will be to manage to take Somalia and Ethiopia. Oh no, they can move forward over there as well. Okay, I'll, I'll need to chase them down and annihilate them. That's one point or another. No, oh, no, don't tell me that all of this is connected because then I have issues. Oh no, they're cut off. Things are not looking well for the motorized division here. But at least now I can take the... <laughs> the Belgian capital of Elizabeth will. Elizabeth will. Wouldn't that be awesome? They're cut off and they're not getting any reinforcements at all. They still have some fuel though, but... Supplies are sorely lacking. Inefficient research again. Is it both of them? Yes, it is. Both of them. There we go. And now with all of these units here, I can probably make a new Panzer Division. Actually, I will turn turn this into essentially two core. First of all, we will have the this core here, the Panzer Core. It will be turned into a core and then assigned to the Korean army, which also is under the Quantum Theater. So they will be setting sail there. And now I can transport this over and create another one, probably during, you know, will be part of the Korean army as well. Wherever they go, it will be important for me. I think these will be the same thing. I really now is still hoping for the button for me to automatically remove things that are inefficient. Good, we're taking Elizabeth Will. That should make a dent into the Belgian ideas here. Where is their capital now? It's probably going to be something like Leopoldville. Is this where Brazzaville is? Or no, this is Brazzaville. So this is Kinshasa now, is it? Or is Kinshasa here? It's gotta be in Kinshasa. Oh, and we won against Nepal. Excellent. Gorgeous, even. And now I can send even more troops. So I will send two more met motorized for the invasion of Eastern Africa. Or the mopping up of Eastern Africa. Is this actually trying to move towards... Mombasa? I think not. And this is recuperating quite nicely, which is good. Oh, this has turned around and is heading towards me again. So basically, when I when I send my reinforcements, it's going to have to come towards Dar es Salaam, otherwise it will take forever. Nothing is still happening here. It's only been like a two months still, but I was hoping for some breakthrough from the Germans. At least we managed to save these these fellas. And with steady reinforcements coming their way, I think yeah, the Quantum Theater will be able to do much more. 
Uh, is there anything like... Okay, hold on a second. Kwantung Theater. There's the North China Army, the Third Hendan, Korean Army, and the Kwantung Defense Command. Okay, so basically uh, what I need to do is create another army and then attach that in turn to the North China Army. There we go. That should be all well and good. So is the North China Army actually... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I... Uh, Pretty sure it is, actually. Wait, North China Army. What, who, is, who do you belong to? Second Army belonging to North China Army. Oh yeah, it is an army group. So I figured. Lack of troops. Oh yeah, it is having a lack of troops. But estimated enemy power now with the added reinforcements as... I mean, we are getting quite stronger, and we have now encircled this army over here. Hopefully, they can hold here, which would be good. Because holding there would mean that we could annihilate all of these units, which is, is not that many, but it's still a sizable portion of uh, the Soviet Union Far East Defense Force, which would be pretty good. At least I'm hoping that it would be the case. Mongolia is still putting up a fight. And so are these units over here. Oh god, they actually are quite strong. Oh, I think the, the British... Uh, the okay, I need to think now. The Belgians have put all their forces under British sovereignty. Since the loss of their capital. So now I have a lot more British to, to fight against than I you know, had originally hoped to. Actually, there's quite a lot of divisions over here. So, can I start sending over troops now? Where are the reinforcements? They are taking their time getting there. Can't exactly blame them, there's a long way to go. Maybe I should send Imperial Guards as well. A nice little surprise. How's the production of units going here? Some more units to be added towards... Towards the Far Eastern soldiers. Or the Russian campaign. This is more commonly known. And now annihilate the last remnants of the Yemen, Yemen army. And put basically the southern... Southern portion of the Arabian Peninsula under my command. Oh, and I still have Sokoto to take. Not excellent. But I mean, Italians now should have... Oh! Oh, they, they let me go through the land. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. You are approaching us, apparently. You really like us, and we really like you in turn. There we go. I think I need to assign more research now, but the question is what? So this is out of, you know... This will be inefficient research. This will not be inefficient research, so that will be uh, well and good to take. And I want something to increase basically the maximum speed of my unit. But I don't think there's anything along that way. I might as well get desert warfare equipment, considering I might fight in the desert. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to have night fighting equipment. doesn't hurt at all in fact and the aircraft this doesn't take into account any aircraft from the, the ships so not really useful yeah this is not useful we have light cruisers already up to speed aircraft is up to speed and I don't need anything else from here bomber is bomber is not up to speed so, I think I will improve some bombers. That seems good. Fighters is well, quite up to speed, but now there's some more tech here that is capable of taking. So I will do just that. Here there is basically nothing of use, I think, as far as I can tell. In theory, we have civil defense. Increasing repair rate a bit, that could be good. 
I'm not expecting to have a lot of to, uh, things to repair, but I won't complain about it. People's army, no. Assault concentration is out of our reach. I mean, I might as well improve my mechanized forces and uh, these things since I've started to use a bit more tanks and stuff like that. Fleet auxiliary. Here we have some things that might be important for us. And air, finally. And air is doing all well and good. So I think that will be uh, it for technology for now. At least here there is... Uh, it's quite easy to, to travel. Up here in uh, Dar es Salaam and uh, Nai Nairobi and Mombasa. All cool names, by the way. I think the CAGs can return now to... They can, uh, do, you know, stop their mission. If you move out, well, uh, no, they will, won't stop the current assignment. If I do let them air superiority not continuous, then they will do that for a while and then go back, get back to base. I think it's safest to just leave him here. There's a lot of units now suddenly, so probably waiting a bit will will be sufficient. And now at least supply lines can be established for this guy, who's been woefully under supply for a while now. Okay, I think the, the dire state of the African campaign needs to be reinforced here, so send to Dar es Salaam one more unit for now, and then add in when I have more units available. Let you do the trick, and then send them straight here to kind of root out these. This is in the mountains also, which is why this is quite hard. So maybe sending mechanized and stuff is not the best idea, but that's basically what I have left at the moment. Go to Bahrain. Do I reach Bahrain? No, Bahrain is here, I think. Let's take the other things of the United Arab Emirates, or at least uh, their version of it at the moment. Maybe, maybe it is a point, considering how mount mountainous that... Ethiopia is and stuff like that. Maybe it, I have a good point. I have an idea now. I have a smart idea. So basically what I will do is make my mountain division. And I will make a bunch of them. So at least four of them. And in two, two lines. It will take a year though to build. Um, so, you know, I guess I'll just have to put it to be important stuff. I should have built this a long time ago, honestly. What is it now that is also under large front? Okay, done. Hmm. I think they are actually going to, to fight their way out. How's the reinforcement going? Oh, they are, they are approaching. So when the reinforcements have arrived and basically they should be able to hold. Manchuku is doing their part here. So they're actually doing quite well. I do like that Menguku have taken some areas in Mongolia. I think it's only Ulaanbaatar that is uh, of any victory point. No, actually not. It's two points. It's uh, Ulastai here as well. I mean, isn't it a bit weird that Mongolia Okay, as big as Mongolia is, Mongolia has two victory points, while Norway only has one. Seems a bit unfair. Okay, now at least he's gotten some more units and unfortunately been defeated as a result. But now it has some way of, you know, getting the hell out of there. Motorized, so with the mountains being here, I think I can go through the forest until I reach the mountains, the mountain passes here. Basically a long mountain ridge. Or maybe I should switch out, so you go... No, you can't get through here, can you? Of course you can't. How stupid of me. 
Okay, so you can switch place now. Oh, that's a fine. That, that, that is a fine. Hmm. I mean, why am I putting so much cavalry at the front from against Soviet tanks? But they're retreating on pretty much every front down south, so it should be fine. I'm not that worried. Maybe I should be. But I'm not. And judging from all the sounds of, of convoys being shot down, I think my convoy shooting campaign has gone fairly well. I actually want to take a look at this for uh, naval and entire conflict mm, against the United Kingdom. Yeah. We sank 92,544 tons of cargo in total. And the last month. I mean, that's pretty good as well. We're we're making them spend a ton of industrial capacity on on convoys that we keep sinking. And we're not even losing that many as, as a result. And I'm, you know, I can easily replenish whatever has been lost. Hmm. It's just... Without mon Mountaineers, this campaign is doomed to fail. The only the only good thing is that considering that they have no connection to any port at all, they must be starving for supplies. They can't have any supplies left at all. Because at least the, the Belgians would produce supply from Elizabeth Well. Because they have no connection to Elizabeth Well at all now. Maybe if I can take this is no way of to transport supplies anyway. So they should be completely cut off from supplies by now. So hopefully, that also means that they have no supplies to get. Naval Supremacy in Fleet... Really? I have strategic effect? Naval Supremacy... What is this? Tugur. Where is Tugur? Tugur. Where are you? Wait, does... Tugur. Where is it? Where is that stupid letter? There it is. There we are, Tugur. Ah, oh, I lost it. But I will get it back eventually. No, 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 don't let them, don't let them do that. Wait, is this under my command still? Why is this not under First Army Group? There we are. Put all the soldiers under the AI, not leave some at, during my command. It's just silly. But they're retreating now, so things are looking up. Wait, is this still also under my command? Vladivostok HQ? I have a Vladivostok HQ. Why is this under Vladivostok HQ? Why do I have a unit up here? That is under Vladivostok HQ. So first army group here. And this is under first Hendan. Located here. So how about I remove that from this and then put it to the first army group. I am very, very disorganized at the moment. Oh, and the Germans have broken through a bit. In Finland. At the Isthmus here. At, what, what is it called again? I can't remember. Basically where they put the Mannerheim line. But, or was it here that they put that? Or was it even here? Like, Double V and I, at one point, uh, quite a while ago, played as... He played as Sweden and I played as Finland. And we managed to survive until 1945, just things never happened. Like, I was manning this whole line here. Sometimes I could make advances on the Soviet Union, sometimes I would be pushed back. At most, I think I had something like... I'll show you. I uh, will show you. Some, uh, I think the most we had was something like this at one point. And we're taking everything north. Then the Soviets started bringing the heavy artillery and, you know, basically we had to retreat. It was really boring, in fact. I mean, it was fun at, it was fun at first, but the last year or so was really boring just because we had no chance at all and we had nothing to put up against them. But com uh, coming to that point was uh, was quite fun. Now I just want to need them to... Uh, well, they're good. The hole is plugged. Now just annihilate the Soviet forces here and 
basically that should be most of the Far Eastern Far Eastern fear to go on for them. Oh no, do I even have any soldiers here? I have this guy. Send him. I think I sent most of the other people to go there. And naval supremacy has been re-established. Excellent. Excellent. That's pretty good. I mean, things are going very well. I mean, I have 41 leadership. That's not to sneeze at at all. Lack of troops still. I, I mean, I've been sending so much troops to you now that you have 345,000 men. 346, apparently. 1,000 men. Oh, that's a terrible battle. But yeah, I wonder how many divisions they can have left. I mean, they have one here, they have one here, they have like four or five or something here. And then beyond that is auxiliary troops from Mongolia and I guess Tanditova as well. Like this Tanditova and Soldier. And beyond that they can't have more than maybe 10 divisions in total in this entire region. Isn't there something along the politics here about occupied countries? Yemen, France, United Kingdom, collaboration, government... What can I switch it for? Full occupation. Which would give me more IC. Sure. But it would also give local partisan support. A lot of support. Military governments. Civil war is not very good. Total exploitation. I do like that it gives certain analysis. Like now I get more manpower. But I, would, I get pretty much no IC at all. And I get some you know, more leadership. Less uh, partisan support. But also less resources. Oh, there's been a lot of battles while I've been away. And another attack. I need to look at the Soviet Soviet front again. Oh my! The Soviets. Oh no, I, I they did manage to survive for a little bit at least, but they will be annihilated. It's just a matter of time. It is simply a matter of time. I have too many units here for, for it to lose. For my campaign to fail. I think I need to stop them from making advances on me. Cut these off. I think these two divisions can make a move for, against that. Is this British... How are British forces... Sending, fl uh, f <laughs> I was going to say flyers towards me, but how are they sending anything against me? Could it be that they are from here? Let's see where they're going. Where are they coming from? There is some British airplanes. They seem to be departing in this general area, so let's send a ship here for more vis visibility. Is it here that they are traveling? Or is it up here? I think I'm going to lower the speed. British planes, where are you coming from? Wait, they just suddenly appear. Okay, so do uh, air superiority. 